Hey Curly Can, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we see my hair is looking different, so that means we're doing something different. Because we know I normally try new products, but sometimes we need to do something different. And today, the something different is a trim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the reason why I need to do a trim is because I was on a every six weeks schedule clipping the ends of my hair, but I feel like I didn't miss the last six, six weeks. So, yeah, it's time to trim my hair. So, I blew it out. And if you have been following me for a while, you know how I blow out my hair with the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. And, yeah, I did use different products this time um you know the new spray that i just showed on my channel the hmp hmp placenta spray leave-in for i use that and i use the kenra blow dry spray and this one my hair is looking like real nice real nice but as we can see the ends are going through so it's time to clip those so I'm going to show you how I clip them because I feel like I haven't showed y'all how I clip my ends so it's time time to show y'all I haven't been on here long enough to show y'all how I do it and it's real simple real real simple so let's get into it before I cut it can we just look at the length so like it's it's getting there it's getting there I said I wanted to be a brush strap length and it's, it's it's taking its time but it's getting there um so First things first, I need to separate my hair, and I don't have nothing to separate it with, okay? Um, but um, these are the shears that I use. They are from Sally's, you know, you can get some real good ones for I think like $20. Okay, so this is the first section, and ooh, see that, see that, see that? Terrible. So what I what I do is split the uh, quadrant or the f section or whatever you want to call it in half, and I just pin this way first. Um, then make sure I brush this out really, really good, and I feel. Or when it starts getting rough and we see that let me move my mirror so I can see okay. where it started getting rough that's where I cut normally and I think I'm gonna cut off it's hard to show that I think I'm gonna cut off that much not too much, like a half of an inch. But the back always is the worst section in my hair because it has, you know, it's where, you know, it be touching my shirt and stuff and my um, jackets. So it be going through in the back. I'm just brushing it out to make sure I got it all. And it's just a little bit on there left. So I'm gonna try to cut it but my depth perception is off, so I can't tell how to cut it. How do you cut it? There we go. Barely. Still, still missing it. Depth perception is just terrible. Okay, I think I got it that time. Oh, Jesus. I think I got them off, did I? Or does it still look bad? Does it still look bad? It still look a little bad, so. I'm gonna go up just a tiny bit more. Yeah, there we go. Back. Dude. Okay. And there we have it. Cut. So, that's basically it. And I do that all over my head. And I don't do too many sections because 
I just don't. I don't. I don't know why. But that is pretty much it. So I just do like eight sections on my head and brush it out really good, and then cut the parts that feel ragged and rough. Now, I, I'm not a cosmetologist. I, you know, I only do my hair. Okay, I do other people hair too, but so don't, if you like, oh, that's not how you do it, but I, I don't know. This is what works for me, so this is what I'm trying to do. I get good results. My hair can be feeling good and looking good, so if you, if you want, like, cosmetologist to show you how to do it don't come here because definitely not a cosmetologist okay and another reason why i wanted to cut my hair is because i noticed that my hair was shedding more than it normally sheds like when i would wash it it would be like a lot of hair in the shower and also it would take me forever to detangle even though you know it don't take me long to detangle now but you so adding time on it is not bad but it's still like i don't want to be doing extra you know sections and then when I get to like the front sections right here I might like split it up into more sections because I feel like my hair is at different lengths up there so it's hard to like cut like all at once because something's not going to get cut so I split it up into smaller sections but yeah that's pretty much it hair is cut and I am just going to wear the fro for a little minute and then I think I might try like a blown out, braid out or blown out twist out or something like that later. Damn now. But I just cut off this much. I feel like, feel like I could cut off more but I'm not going to do that because as I said I'm not a cosmetologist and I don't want to stunt my hair growth because that has happened before. I don't want to go through that again. So yeah that's about it so i'll see you guys in my next one but before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe and click the little bell button so you never miss the next time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye